So in this video, I'm going to show you how to hide any element on a WordPress website. So before I carry on, this only works with premium membership because without a premium membership, you will not be able to add your custom CSS. So what you will need to do now is that you will need to click on customize at the top. And when you click on that, you'll notice that there is the option that says additional CSS. So if you just one click here, you'll notice that there will be a, a box that you can click on and you can type in your custom CSS. However, if you're not able to enter your CSS, that means your website plan is free and you will not be able to add your CSS. So now you'll notice right here at the bottom right, it says proudly powered by WordPress. So I want to hide that element. So what I'm going to do is that I'm going to right click here and I'm using Google Chrome, by the way. So you can use Google Chrome to have the same option, but you know, you can use any other browser, but I want you to use Google Chrome because it's easy to inspect. So I'm going to click on inspect. And when I do that, you'll notice that you'll see all of this code right here. So from here, what I'm going to do is that I'm going to press control F and I'm going to find proudly powered by WordPress. So I'm going to type that in. So proudly. And as you notice right here, it says proudly by and it's right here. So what I'm going to do is that I'm going to copy this class name that says powered by. So it's a class and it says powered by. So powered dash by. I'm going to double click on that class and I'm going to copy it. So I'm going to copy it. And then because it's a class, I'm going to use dot. So dot, and then I'm going to add that class name inside of this box. So dot powered by, and I'm going to open two curly braces. And then I'm going to say display colon none, display none. All right, now as you notice, as I type that in, it has set it to hidden and it's not there anymore. So now what I'm gonna do is that I'm going to click on publish and you'll notice that that element is not there. And that's basically it. All right, so I hope this video was helpful. And if you have any questions, you can ask me in the comments below. So don't forget to like the video and subscribe to my channel. So I will see you all later.